Camelot. Inevitably, there are aspects of our being together that I might regret losing. Things like watching you sleep while I read Jane Kenyon or Edwin Muir, wondering why we're together, sharing this bed, this room, your home, sharing space in our strange separate lives. Things like you're almost, but not quite completely, silent, snoring in a talk, tick-tock, the antique mechanical clock you have in your hall, louder because I've opened the door. I've done this before, I love its confident voice, that clock will outlive us both. Things like listening to you pee, smiling while I do, having no idea why, why I'm smiling, why I'm listening, why I care about you. I listen while you brush your teeth, you gargle, who gargles anymore? I stand quiet as a death by your bathroom door, a weird auditory voyeur. Like imagining an older me, an older you, the lengthening shadow is year on year. Our separate, single and joint memories coalesce at 66 and 64. Our future is a stay of execution, an inevitability of another separation. You or I will face another desolation. Things like watching you while you read your incomprehensibly entitled books in Latin and in Greek. I'll not speak, not a word, not yet. Later, finding an excuse, a pretext to abuse Platonism. Have a go at Heraclitus, just for fun. Your eyes to my bait, because you have retained the charmed, soulful seriousness of a clever working class lad at fabled Oxford. That first year at Trinity, a gosh and a grad, and your life opening into undreamt opportunities. Things like making love after our long years of sacrifice, homage to other lovers, the mothers of our children, lip service to a tepid celibacy, no idea what I might feel with a new body, boobs, and medicinally dilated virginity. Two old hearts, broken hearts, love making in the vicinity of our recent and too distant pasts, but nothing lasts forever. Like your face, that wonderful loving me look, you weirdly crooked, an oddly contented smile, sometimes a scowl, as I glance up from a book, you watching me, concern written in the lines of your face. You worry because I wear my sadness like a cloak, wrapping myself, my lost hopes, exile and families, in a soft har of melancholy. But do not rescue me. I am not your Lady of Shalott. You are not my Lancelot. Your beloved London is not mine, not my many. Towered Camelot.